What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to go over how to get the Python shotgun and give you guys some tips on how to get this thing a bit faster. This, of course, is the new ritual weapon for the Season of the Dawn for Gambit. Now, to get this, you want to grab the Spitting Distance quest. You can get that directly from our buddy Drifter over in the tower. So, once you have that, you can jump right into this quest line. Now, there are three key objectives for this, and they involve getting shotgun kills in Gambit. You need 500 shotgun kills total. You need 150 close range kills. Those are gonna be pretty much point blank range for a shotgun kill. And you also have to reach heroic as far as your infamy rank. Now, more than likely that could take you the longest, especially because by using a force loadout, you may not be winning games like you normally would using the weapons you most wanna use. That's one of the problems I have with these forced loadout quests. But those are the three objectives. Shotgun kills, close range shotgun kills, and reaching heroic for your infamy rank. Now you can play either Gambit Prime or regular Gambit. Like Mesa Sean pointed out on Twitter, regular Gambit might be easier to get the shotgun kills because there are more enemies, the games are longer, and there's more red bar enemies. So getting the kills might be a bit easier in regular Gambit. On the flip side, you have Gambit Prime. Now, these games go a bit faster, so you'll find yourself getting more points towards your heroic rank for infamy. And like Jarv pointed out too, there are more chances to invade in Gambit Prime. Now, with this quest, the enemy kills on Guardians give you a lot more progress towards your 500 kills and your 150 kills. So, keep that in mind. Both Gambit Prime and regular Gambit have pluses and minuses to them. I will link both Mesa Sean and Jar's channel in the description because those are some key takeaways to keep in mind with this quest. Overall, I'd probably say Gambit Prime is your better bet because I think reaching the heroic level will take you longer anyway, and you should be able to get the shotgun kills done in this game mode. Keep in mind, there are more yellow and orange bar enemies in this, so for that reason, it might be good to have some heavy hitting shotguns. Anything's gonna work, but I'd recommend using the Aikido shotgun. This is from year one. You may not have this, but if you don't, make sure you pop into a live stream here on YouTube. I've helped out probably at least a thousand people get this. So this is still a very good weapon all these years later. Yes, I know it's not the best of the best, but the fact of the matter is this is a eight shot shotgun. It's a rapid fire frame. So you're pretty much gonna be able to lay waste to enemies really quickly. And it's a solar weapon. So that could be beneficial in terms of taking down enemy shields. If you don't have this, any shotgun's gonna do. So you can even use the new Perfect Paradox you get from the Season of the Dawn quest line. This will be a good choice. You could also use something like the Blasphemer. Any shotgun's gonna do, and honestly, having a double or triple setup could be beneficial too. So don't be worried about not having an optimal loadout. These force loadouts kind of force you down this path of using things that may hurt your enemy or may hurt your own team. On top of that, you could always use the Tractor Cannon. This is a great choice. You probably have this exotic. If you don't, make sure you pick it up from Zero whenever he sells it. This will be good because it's a shotgun number one. And the fact of the matter is, this can also help your team out by debuffing the enemy boss and helping your team for DPS. But any shotgun will do. This involves playing outside of how you would normally play in Gambit. And I find that to be kind of silly for a quest line, but that's just my opinion. Once you get done the 500 kills, the 150 close range, and reaching heroic, you will then get the Python shotgun from the Drifter. And this is a good weapon to have. It's nice because it has some customization here in terms of your perks. If you don't have a shotgun with one-two punch, that's always gonna be helpful. And this is overall a pretty good weapon to use in PvE. Not so much in PvP, but I'm curious what you guys think of this weapon. In the comments, let me know, for this season, what is your favorite ritual weapon? And would you rather see them go back to the more powerful pinnacle weapons that we saw back in year two? Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch up very soon. And best of luck in the Python. See you guys.